Gaku, your tie is crooked. Can you fix that? What? Oops. Oh man, you're right. Sorry. It's all right, but just be careful, okay? All right, there we go. Thanks again. Sorry about that. You better straighten up, you know. Looking good in front of your boss is part of what I grade you on in your employee review. I know. I'll be more careful from now on. Thank you. That's my boss, Nao Tamaki. She may be young, but that doesn't mean that she's not capable of fulfilling her demanding position. And she has her fans in and out of the office for both beauty and ability. I can't even count the number of clients we've worked with who have tried to sneak glances at her as they walked away. Something on your mind? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Hey, Gaku, you wouldn't happen to be dating anyone at the moment, would you? Hmm, why'd you ask? I think it's good to get to know all of my employees. If you don't want to tell me, that's fine, though. Oh, I don't mind. I'm not really seeing anyone right now, though. To be honest, I haven't really met anyone since I joined this company. You haven't even met anyone, really? I suppose that makes sense. I don't think anyone else who works here would really be a good fit for you. Hmm, well, maybe. But, hmm, maybe... Is she angry at me for something? I guess it's just because she's so beautiful and perfect. I don't fit her high standards. I bet to her, everyone else must seem to be nowhere near the same level. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to see what a different lead she's in compared to someone like me. Not that she'd ever say something like that, of course. Well, whatever. I'm sorry to bother you when you're so busy. But after the meeting is over, when I look at you and wink three times, can you just go along with whatever I say for a bit? I don't really understand, but sure. Thanks. I think everything's going to work out, but I want to have a backup plan just in case. I didn't have time to think about what she said, because we arrived at our client's office. Thank you again for meeting with us today. Let's follow up on this and have another discussion soon. Thank you. I look forward to talking with you again. Anyway, we should get going. Have a nice day. Ready to go, Gaku? Right behind you. Slow down there. There's no need to be in such a rush. But the meeting's over, right? Yeah, I'm done talking about work. Why don't you sit down and have a chat with your old man for a little bit? Wait, huh? You mean you're Nao's father? Now that you mention it, you do share the same last name. Seriously, kid? You didn't realize it until now? Well, whatever. Have a seat. You too, now. Sit down. <sighs> Come on, Dad. We're in the middle of work. I really wish you'd stop doing this. Don't be like that now. It's important to take a break now and then, too. We finished the meeting, right? It won't kill you to sit and chat for a few minutes. Plus, it doesn't hurt to get to know your clients a bit, right? Communication is the heart of a good sales pitch, after all. Think of it like, uh, part of the job. Oh, fine. What did you want to talk about? My, oh my, how did I raise such a rambunctious daughter? I bet you think she's a pretty scary boss too, don't you, kid? Dad, stop being rude to my subordinates. You didn't even ask his name. It's Gaku Izaki, by the way. You're right, I'm sorry, Gaku. But you agree with me, right? To be perfectly honest, sir, I don't. Now, it could be a strict boss sometimes, sure, but she doesn't say anything that isn't true. And she recognizes how hard all the people under her work. I feel really lucky to be her employee. <coughs> uh, you really laid on the praise, huh? Well, that's good to hear, at least. You make sure she doesn't get herself into any trouble, okay? Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Honestly, I think she has enough to worry about helping me put out all of my fires. Hey, I like this guy. You know how to pick him, don't you, now? Of course, I handpicked him for this project myself. <laughs> I'm proud of you. So, was that enough conversation for you? I'd like to get going. Don't say goodbye just yet. You're so impatient sometimes. I wonder where you get that from. There's still something very important we need to discuss. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do we have to? I'm afraid so. As if right on cue, she gave the signal we agreed on. Just seeing her wink at me made my heart almost skip a beat. I gave a quick nodding response as if to say, leave it to me. I just wish I knew what she was going to say. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm going to have to turn down your offer. Why? I think it sounds like a pretty good plan, don't you agree? Sorry, but the problem is, uh, there's already someone I'm in a serious relationship with, and I just can't bring myself to break his heart and meet the guy you want me to. Hold on a second, what's going on here? Her dad wants to set her up with an arranged marriage? And she's dating someone? She never said anything about that to me. Oh, really? Who is it? Him. Uh, what? I didn't want to tell you during the meeting, but Gaku Izaki here is my boyfriend. Huh? What? What? Really? Is that true? Of course. Why would I lie to you? She winked at me three times again. Each one was like a fire straight to my heart. Oh, crap. I guess I have to say something now. 
Yeah, 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 she's absolutely right. My name is Gaki Izaki, and I have the pleasure of dating your daughter. I would like to express my sincerest apologies for not introducing myself properly earlier. <laughs> well, 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 good for you, kid. See? There you have it. All right, all right, I see how it is. Well, who am I to stand in between my daughter and her true love? I'll call off the meeting right away. But you listen here, Gaku. What is it, sir? You better not make my daughter cry. If you do, I'll find out. At this, all I could do was nod at him. Mouth agape. Thanks for helping me out back there. I owe you one. I really don't want to get married to that guy, but no matter how much I begged with my dad, he wouldn't take no for an answer. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about me. I knew that none of it was really true after all. Of course, I was only a convenient pawn to get out of a pesky arranged marriage, but deep down, I couldn't help but be a little disappointed that it wasn't anything more than that. Also, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could keep pretending to be my boyfriend in front of my father for just a little longer? Just to keep up the act, you know? Yeah, I understand. But are you sure that you want me to be the one for this? There have to be tons of guys who would be a better match for you than me. Don't say that. I think you're just the man for the job. Well, as long as you're sure. It's almost like a perk for me, too. Don't be silly. What do you mean? I'm serious. Even if it's all pretend, I'll be honored to stand next to you as your boyfriend. I'd be happier if you really were my boyfriend, too. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, no. It was nothing. Come on. Let's get back to the office and draft up this project. Got it. I almost thought I could hear her absentmindedly whisper something else, but it must have been the wind. That day on my way home. Well, 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 if it isn't Gaku Izaki. Huh, Mr. Tamaki? Nice to see ya. Thank you for your help earlier today. How was everything with Nao after that? Well, we couldn't rest for long. We had to get back to the office for another meeting. Oh yeah? Well, that's too bad. You need to take better care of her. Me? Yeah, of course. I swear, all that girl thinks about is work. She needs someone to remind her that there are other things in life too. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, I know. Why don't the two of us have a little drink and talk, man to man? What, right now? Of course. You're not busy, right? I've always wanted to go out drinking with my daughter's partner. Won't you humor me just as once? Well, if he puts it like that, there's no way I could possibly refuse. I'll be happy to. Practically, before I even answered, Mr. Tamaki took me to a small local bar. Well, if it isn't old Goro, and who's this nice young lad you brought with you? I'd like to introduce you to Nao's boyfriend, Gaku. Your little girl? Guess she's all grown up now, huh? Congratulations, old man. This calls for a drink. On the house, of course, right? Hey, I never said that. I'm running a business here, not a charity. Cheers, kid. Cheers. Hey, Gaku, you got anything you didn't like to eat? No, I'm fine with anything. Then what's your favorite food? Mm, I don't know, it's so hard to choose. Good answer. Then today, how about I treat you to something really good? I know you're gonna love it. Well, you weren't kidding. This might be the best chicken I've ever had in my life. What I tell ya, this place always gets free range chickens from a local farm. You're not gonna find anything this good at the grocery store. I know what you mean. And is that a balsamic vinaigrette dressing? It adds just the perfect amount of flavor to it. Hey, you're pretty perceptive. I don't regret taking you here at all. I'm glad you know your stuff. The two of us ate, drank, and talked for hours. I'm just so proud of my little girl, you know. Yeah, she should be. She's such a wonderful person. I'm so glad someone else finally understands. Of course, anyone will be happy to be with her, and I count my lucky stars every day. I'm glad I caught you today. Being able to drink with you and get to know all about my daughter's boyfriend was as fun as I thought it'd be. Thank you, I had fun too. And that reminds me, Gaku. Yeah? I gotta know, which one of you made the move first? <laughs> Whoa, are you okay there, buddy? <coughs> oh, sorry. So, who asked the other out first? Oh, it was, um, me, yeah. I knew it! You seem so shy, but you can't deny the heart what it wants, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm counting on you, pal. Take good care of my daughter. You remember what I said earlier about not making her cry, right? I'll never forgive you if you do. Anyway, come on. Let's have another drink. I was just about to order the good stuff. What do you say? I'll be happy to join you. That night, we continued to party and frolic until the early hours of the morning. The next day at work. Hey, Gaku, you don't look so good. You okay there? I'm so hungover. Oh, you just drank too much. What's wrong with you? Now it's gonna chew you out if she finds out. Gaku, can I see you in my office for a moment? Speak of the devil. Good luck, bud. Be right there. See you on the other side. Gaku, I am so sorry. Huh? About what? I heard my dad found you and forced you to go out with him all night. He drinks like a fish, too. Were you okay? Oh, that? It was fine. 
A lot of fun, actually. You mean it? You're not just being nice to me, are you? Of course not. Maybe I had a bit too many myself, but it was a good excuse to let off some steam. I really did enjoy it. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Your dad started asking me about how the two of us met. So I told him that I was the one who asked you out. What? You're asking me out? Really? So, I just wanted to get our story straight in case he asked you about it, too. Uh, oh, the story, right. Yeah, of course. After that, I started explaining everything that happened the previous night. Thanks again, and I'm really sorry about all this. I told you, you don't have to apologize so much, it's fine. Okay, I'll stop apologizing and just thank you twice as much then. That's better. Anyway, we should probably get back to work before anyone gets suspicious. Not so fast, mister. You're not going anywhere until you drink this and rest for a bit. Sorry, boss's orders. I'll cover for you until then. With that, she thrust a drink into my hand and walked back to work with a spring in her step. She really is just so cool. A few days passed after that without fanfare. Now, can I bother you for a second? Sure, what is it? Maybe it's better if I asked you in private. Let's take this to another room, then. It's about this. Something on your phone? I got a text from your dad just now. Why does he even have your contact information? We exchanged numbers when we were out drinking the other day. He and I actually text about five times a day. Seriously? That's more than me. What are you talking about? I mean, it's not too big a deal. Just idle chit-chat and stuff. What? No fair. Lucky. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, never mind. Sorry. Anyway, go on. What was it you needed to call me here for? Well, is it true that your birthday is this weekend? Yeah, I guess it is. Well, he was saying that he wanted to invite the two of us over that day. Really? Yeah, so I was thinking we should probably refuse him, right? What's the matter? You don't want to celebrate my birthday? No, of course that's not it. I'll be happy to, but I just can't imagine getting in the way of you and your family because of all this. Oh, but it really is fine. If you're not busy, I'd love to have you join us. Really? Are you sure? I wouldn't be asking you if I wasn't. I'm your boss, remember? So can you? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Really? Oh, I'm super excited. Great. I'll text your father that I can come. Thanks. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. What is it? Do you think you could start texting me, too? You know, for updates on what you and my dad are talking about. I want to keep our stories straight. Oh, after work, of course. I can't have you spending company time on your private business, you know. Yeah, no problem. I can't believe it. She's asking me to text for my own free time. I never imagined this would happen to me in my wildest dreams. Thanks, Mr. Tamaki. That weekend, Mr. Tamaki was there to welcome us to his home for Nell's birthday. Ah, uh, there you are, Gaki. Gaki? Thank you so much for having me over, Goro. Goro? Since when did you get so familiar with each other? Yeah, Gaki and I are practically best friends now, isn't that right? Yeah, basically. Ugh, I can't believe my dad's stealing you away from me behind my back. Now, why would you say something like that? What are you all doing just standing outside? Please, come in. Make yourself at home, Gaki. Not you two. Mom, what's going on here? I've never met her before, I promise. It's really nice to get to know Nao's parents like this. They seem like such great people. I'm glad Nao is such a welcoming family. Getting to spend time like this with Nao's family and seeing their living room all decorated for a birthday, I felt like I was getting a glimpse into her childhood. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday now. now! Thanks, everyone. It wasn't a massive party or a big celebration in a huge hall. But getting to spend time all together as a family felt like being blessed with the greatest luxury of all time. Even just a traditional day and exchanging gifts, eating cake and singing songs felt so wonderful. It was such a relaxing party. And now it looked like she was having fun too. Oh now, this is a little something from me. Gaku, you really didn't have to get me anything. What are you talking about? Of course I did. That's so nice of you. I wonder what it could be. Wow, look at this. It's so pretty. Sorry, it's such a small thing. Don't apologize, I love it. I'll treasure this pen forever and ever. I'm so glad you like it. Hey now! What do you want, Dad? Why don't you ever call Gaki by a nickname or anything? He's your boyfriend, isn't he? Oh, well, uh... You've already introduced him to the entire family and everything. Don't you think you should be a little more familiar with him? F fine Gaki? Gaki? Oh, uh, do you not like being called that? Of course I don't mind, but you don't have to compete with Goro over me or anything. Oh, yeah, you're right. Then how about I call you Gakuku? That's kind of cute. Is that all right? That seemed to be good enough for Goro, and he nodded his head in satisfaction. The problem was, she'd never call me anything like that except for times like this. A few days after that, I got another of my usual texts from Goro. But this one wasn't like the rest. 
It started out with, I'm so sorry, and when I read it, I instantly caught him in a panic. Oh, Gaki, I'm really sorry, but the truth is, what happened was this. Garo turned down the first guy I wanted to marry now, but after that, another man came along with an even better offer. This guy was young, but already owned and managed several companies by himself. Garo even showed me a picture, and even I had to admit he was perfect from head to toe. I know more than anyone how much of a good kid you are, Gaki, but as a parent, I have to make the best choice for my daughter. You understand that, right? I want now to be happy for the rest of her life, and I'm confident someone like him would always be able to provide for her future. That's why I need you to let her down nice and easy. Then maybe we can convince her to give this guy a chance. His words kept ringing around in my head. It was like walking from a trance. Of course he was right, this was all supposed to be a fake relationship in the first place. Someone like me was never right for an amazing person like now. But somewhere along the way, I started to get ahead of myself and I really did fall for her. What's wrong with me? Gakuku? Is everything okay? You look pretty down. I'm happy to talk if you're willing. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. You think after all this time I can't tell when you're lying? Oh, fine. Can I ask you something then? Of course, anything. Now, what kind of guy do you want to marry? What? Uh, why would you ask me something like that all of a sudden? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. I mean, you probably want someone rich, right? Or good looking? Well, I'm not gonna lie and say that money isn't important. And I am a sucker for a pretty face. But... But what? But... None of that is important when there's someone out there who I know loves me more than anything else. As long as there's a guy who I know I can always rely on, then I don't need anyone else. A movie star could come knocking on my door and I'd say no way! Yeah, someone who I know really loves me is all I need. In that moment, I couldn't take it anymore. I knew I needed to run somewhere. Huh? Uh, Gakuku? Where are you going? I'm really sorry, I just remembered a really important client that I need to speak with. I started running. I know I'll probably always make less than now will until the day I die. I'm probably not even half as attractive as the guy from that picture. But there's one thing I have that I know none of them do. And as long as now says she's fine with that, then maybe I still have a chance. Goro. No, Mr. Tamaki. Sorry, someone just came in. What's the matter? There's something I really need to talk to you about. <sighs> do you think you could possibly hear me out? Sure, what is it? Mr. Tamaki finished up his call and put his phone inside his breast pocket and beckoned me into an empty meeting room. I'm just gonna come out and say it directly. I'm very sorry, but I cannot agree to your proposal from last night. Why not? I know that compared to the guy you want to set now up with, I'm not rich like him, I'm not attractive like him, and I'm not good at my job like him, but there's one thing I'm better at than anyone else. And what's that? I love her with all my heart. I'm sure there's no one else in the world who loves her more than me. So please, I won't allow it. You have to decline him. So you came to beg me like a child, huh? I'll do whatever it takes. I'll scream to the heavens every day if I have to. You said it yourself last night, didn't you? You want your daughter to marry someone who will make her happy for the rest of her life. That's why you have to pick me. I promise that for my entire life, for as long as I live, I'll do whatever it takes to make now happy. Are you proposing to me? Shouldn't you save the flowery language for your girlfriend? I, I'm sorry. Just then, Mr. Tamaki took out his cell phone and handed it to me. Huh? What are you doing? Now I probably heard everything you just said. I figured you'd want to hear her response directly. You mean? I took a deep breath and slowly drew the receiver to my ear. Gakuku, did you really mean all that? On the other end of the line, I clearly heard Nao's trembling voice. I guess I'd been talking to her when I arrived and never hung up. In other words, this was exactly what he was planning all along. He saw the way Nao and I were acting with each other in the uneasy way I was texting him, and he realized everything that was going on a long time ago. Maybe even from the very start. Obviously, there never was another marriage offer. He played me like a fiddle. I never would have expected that the picture Garl sent me was himself when he was younger. I'm really sorry. I didn't think he'd get so mad at you. It's okay. I know he only wants the best for you. I really respect him a lot. You think so? You know what I think? I think he meddles too much for his own good. But that's only because he wants what's best for his beloved daughter, right? And after everything I said earlier, I guess I have big shoes to fill, huh? You can say that again. But... You can start by proving yourself during this next meeting. You got it. Well, well, well. Hello, you two. Good luck today. Hello there, Mr. Tamaki. Do you have a moment? What was it you said, Mr. Tamaki? You wanted to introduce me to someone you thought would be a capable fit for a project? Exactly. We'll go over it in more detail during our presentation. But please, allow me to introduce the man that will make your daughter the happiest in the world. My fiancé, Gaku Izaki. Thank you for the warm welcome. 
I see. And just what is his main selling point? Why, that would be the way he went along with your unlucky in love daughter's half-baked plan to fool her overly concerned dad into thinking she had a boyfriend. And even though my extremely smart father saw through it all, he still decided to tell me he loves me. That's good enough for me. Make my daughter happy, Gaki. In that moment, both father and daughter shine with the same bright smile. 